मुल्क इश्यू मुल्क इश्यू दिस इज द टॉपिक नाउ मुल्क प्रॉब्लम इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ तेलंगाना बिकॉज ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम द डिफरेंस इज एरोज बिटवीन Andhra and Telangana ultimately it led to the separation of the state Andhra Pradesh this mulk issue had a long history it started during the period of bahmanis 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 started from brahmani period actually how this problem is developed mohammed bin tughlaq occupied andhra country by defeating kagathias in 1323 afterwards what happened after the occupation of the muslims during his period some muslims came from north india and settled in dakkar these people did not go back ultimately they settled and they became the natives after fall of this mohammed bin tughlaq's empire in 1347 hasan gangu bahman established the bahmani kingdom in dakkan with the capital gulbarga this bahmani kingdom continued for two centuries it ruled over dakkar during this period other muslims from other parts from north india from turkey arabia iran iraq came to dakkar and settled gradually what happened the these two sections the first coming muslims and the later coming muslims in this way they were divided the mahmani sultans gave importance to the foreign outside muslims and they were appointed in the higher posts therefore differences arose this is the reason for the development of the difference between two sections the people who came to dakkan in the beginning during the time of sultan Muhammad bin Tughlaq they <coughs> thought themselves as natives and they consider the muslims who came during the bahanu period are outsiders in this way a notion developed the first muslims themselves designated as dakkanese because they lived in dakkan the next coming muslims are designated as non natives these were called natives those who called non natives non natives are designated themselves as dakkanis the foreigners are designated as afakis afakis the first muslims the first coming muslims are designated noted as as natives and called themselves and called themselves themselves as dakkanis dakkanis the next coming coming muslims are are designated noted as as afakis afakis in this way among the muslim community two sections developed dakkanis and afakis dakkanis are called mulkis dakkanis are called mulkis mulkis means natives 
means natives afakis afakis are called gaur mulkis gaur mulkis in this way two names were invented mulkis and gaur mulkis mulkis are dakanis gaur mulkis are outsiders outsiders these bahmani kingdoms bahani sultans gave highest post to the afakis particularly for the in the for, for the first time during the time of uh, ahmad shah first ahmad shah ahmad shah first the first struggle took place took place because he appointed one afaki named khalifi khalifi hasan hasan basri basri was appointed as prime minister this afaki appointed in the higher post of afakis and he did not care about the darkness therefore the difference developed during the period of ahmad shah a war broke out between bahmani sultans and uh, gujarat the sultan sent uh, one army under the leadership of this basri against gujarat in this army both uh, afakis and darkness were there but in this battle the darkness uh, who damsels uh, uh, that uh, basri neglected them therefore they did not cooperate with, with basri and they did not fight whole heartedly in the battle therefore what happened in this battle basri was defeated by the gujarat forces he returned back to the capital of ahmad shah and he reported the matter to the sultan sultan immediately took, uh, became very angry and he punished some of the dakanis and some were dismissed from the service this was the first incident or first struggle took place between the afakis and the uh, mulkis and the gaur mulkis gaur mul gaur mulkis the next second uh, uh, struggle uh, took place during the time of the ahmad shah second ahmad shah second during the time of ahmad shah second during the time of ahmad shah uh, ahmad ahmad shah second the second incident took place he ruled from 1422 to 1435 1435 during this period he sent a second expedition against gujarat under the same basri hasan basri this time he sent 10000 army in this 10000 army 7000 soldiers were mulkis or dakanis and 3000 soldiers were afakis afakis this time the dakanis fought very bravely therefore he won the battle and he returned with victory but on the way he camped in a forest this basri camped in a forest during this time the natives dakanis did not uh, sleep with them and they 
shifted their camp to some distance and they slept. This uh, situation came to the notice of the Gujarat soldiers. Immediately these soldiers took it as advantage. They fell on the camp of Basri and killed Basri and some of the Afakis. Afakis. After what's what happened, the other Afakis who survived feared for the uh, from the Gujarati soldiers, they entered into the Chakana fort which was situated in the neighboring area and they sent uh, two persons as ambassadors to the court of Bidar to report the matter about the defeat and the uh, non-cooperation of the Dakanis. The Dakanis came to know this one immediately. They sent their envoy immediately. And this envoy reached Bidar and reported to the Sultan that uh, the Afakis uh, were trying to submit to the Gujar Sultan. For that purpose, they stationed at uh, Chakan Fort. So Sultan became very angry towards Afakis because he believed the words of the ambassador sent by the Dakanis. In the meanwhile, the ambassador sent by the Afakis reached the court. Immediately, the Sultan killed them, killed them. But later, he came to know the truth. At that time, he became very angry towards the Dakanis and he punished some of the, them and he killed some of them and imprisoned some of them and dismissed some of them. In this way, he took a severe action against the Dakanis. Dakanis. This is the second incident that took place. Then again during the time of uh, Muhammad Shah's third, third incident took place. During this period, what happened? He appointed uh, during the time of Muhammad Shah third. The third incident took place. Third incident. Incident took place. This Muhammad Shah appointed uh, Muhammad Gawan as his prime minister. He was a faqi, but he was a very able administrator. He brought this kingdom to the higher level and in every, every field was developed during this period. This man was Afaki because, so therefore, he appointed many Afakis in the higher force. He constructed one three-storied building in the capital, Bidar, and he started uh, the excellent education of Persian language, uh, Turkey, and Arabic. And all those people studied well and became intellectuals. Um, after that, he appointed all of them in the higher services. So this action of Muhammad Gawan brought a great disappointment in the hearts of the Dakanis. Therefore, the Dakanis wanted to punish the king for allowing Muhammad Gawan to act like this. These Dakanis, at a stretch, invaded upon, raided on the royal palace and they tried to kill Muhammad Shah. At the time, the founder of the Golconda kingdom, that Kuli Kutub Shah, was there. He was the guardian of Sultan. He bravely fought this Dakanis and saved the life of Muhammad Shah. Otherwise, he would have died. So, this incident took place. Afterwards, the Dakanis and the Afakis fought each other. In this battle, several people died. It is a severe struggle that took place during this period, in this uh, third incident. In this way, during the time of the Bahamani, Bahamanism, the uh, conflict between Afakis and the Dakanis took place. Then after the death of Muhammad Shah III, the Bahamani kingdom disintegrated and declined. And upon its ruins, five kingdoms um, were founded. That is Golconda, Bijapur, Bidar, Berar, and Ahmadnagar. The Golconda Nawabs became the masters of Telangana and uh, Andhra area. 
these golconda nawabs ruled for 170 years during that period no incident took place because they understood the situation and the enmity between the two sections during the time of bahmanis therefore they took care they took care kuli kutubsha kuli kutubsha established established golconda kingdom golconda kingdom in 1518 ad this kingdom survived for 170 years years because they took good care and they appointed uh, the dakkanis that is the natives that is the mulkis in the high courts and they did not give any importance to the afakis they also they were also afakis they also came from outside not the dakkanis so they um, acted in favor of the dakkani people and got their good will that's why no incident took place during the 170 years the time period went on very peacefully then in 1724 in 1724 in 1724 nizam ul mulk nizam ul mulk established asaf jahi asaf jahi kingdom it is also called it is also called nizam kingdom nizam kingdom kingdom nizam during their period uh, this kingdom survived for 224 years survived survived for for 224 years again during this period the problem arose nizam ul mulk came from delhi and along with him he brought several northern people and also from persia and etc and commanders and the higher officials came along with him and they were appointed in his service they continued here and after nizam ul mulk what happened their his successors continued the same policy and appointed the the descendants of those settled people therefore again the afaki problem increased in 17 1857 the sipai revolt took place during this period Bahadur Shah II, the Mughal Emperor, was defeated, and Mughal Empire collapsed. Therefore, many Muslim people came to Nizam State for livelihood. The Nizam Nawabs gave them shelter, gave them jobs. In this way, much more people of Muslim community came and settled in Hyderabad and Dakkan area. So. gradually the afakis increased the strength of afakis increased after 1857 salar jang also followed the same policy because he appointed he wanted to establish a sound administration for that purpose he thought that intellectuals and highly educated people are required therefore he recruited some of the intellectuals from north india particularly from from the uh the aligarh university aligarh university at the time was a famous muslim university many intellectuals were produced by that university he invited them and appointed in the higher posts in this way the billy grams and uh, the other important persons came to Hyderabad said during his period by the act of this Salar Jang Salar Jang 
by the act of the Salar Jang, by the act 